Okay, so I've got my fridge on it front. It's been a long time since I've done any studying on this at college, but we engineering. But basically, the compressor pumps. I can't remember what the pump. Oh, it's R six hundred A, which is a refrigerant gas around this circuit goes up into the freezer basically goes up into the freezer where it expands sucks in heat which freezes the freezer compartment then it comes back through the compressor and then it loses the heat that it's gained into here as it's compressed again. Really basic that was, I completely forgot. <laughs> but the main components are a compressor, this heat exchanger where it loses heat, there's another uh, coil inside where it basically takes the heat out of the freezer unit and freezes the compartment. We've got a thermostat that comes up here. This is the, probably the power going to it. The thermostat's inside. When the thermostat turns on, it sends power to this relay. And then the relay kicks in the compressor. Well, this is also an overload device as well. So if the compressor's seized or not working, there's an overload device where it gets to a certain limit and then it cuts out. So. That's a thermal cut. That's a cutout and a relay. Obviously, the compressor, and that is about it. So basically, if your thermostat's not telling this to turn on, that's a problem. If this is not turning the compressor on, that's a problem. And if your compressor's jammed or failing, that's a problem as well. So. That is really about all that can go wrong with them other than gas leaks. But anyway, today I'm going to do a video on this down here. So I'll get set up for that. The starter capacitor, that's an important part as well. If that fails, then it provide, it, that provides a kick to start the motor in the compressor. So if that goes, which will go eventually, regular replacement on motors then the motor will not kick, kick into gear and then the overload will trip 